Okay, so hey guys, is uh, well, me and my brother are usually once a year in the summer. Uh, we always set up the tent, but last year we used all the tent pegs for Christmas decorations, and we can't find any of them. So I decided to come in here and make my own with some old coat hangers. Told you these are good for lots of different stuff. So what you need to do first is you need to find this part and any pliers with this, preferably needle nose, because you will be needing needle nose later. And then what I do is I just rotate it around and around and around and around and around in the same spot. And if it slides up, then you just go back down and slide it back down. And then it should eventually just snap. Or, if you can't get it to snap, move your hand down in, unless you want to give yourself a blood blister, and just snip it. Okay, now we're going to have to do this a lot, but now what you need to do, now here's the tricky part because it's already half cut, but you need to do the same thing on this side. Ow, this is hurting my hand. Okay, good. That's out of the way now. Now just snip off the set. Ah, crap. Crapiola. Crapola. You know what? I'm just gonna snip it. Don't wanna give myself a blood blister. There we go. Okay, so now since we have this, we wanna take this and. You want to decide how big you want the little, like, bend to be. And then you kind of want to bend it. Oh my gosh. Sort of like a J shape, but not really. It's like a V with an extended leg sort of thing. Like, so you kind of want to bend it like... So you, then you kind of want... Here, I'm actually going to put you guys right there. Do it this way. You can see how easy this is. So, you just gotta see where your vision is. So, yeah, this will work perfectly. Wait, to the end of the table. Uh, where can you guys see? End of the table. Okay. So, this might be a bit of a short one, and they don't all have to be perfect, like a short little video, but I'm gonna show you guys how to make about three. I need about 20. But, so now we have these, and now you want to figure out how long you want it. I'm going to do mine about here. Now, I'm just going to go and mark all mine, so I'll be right back. Okay, so I marked them, and I had to go help my brother. But, now let's finish making these tent pegs. So see, all you got to do is just cut this. Now, oh, and I didn't really show you guys my markings, but I'm just going to use this as a natural bend. Oh, uh, wait, where is it? I'm just going to use this as a natural bend. Like, well, it already is a natural bend, but I'm just going to use it as like one of these bends. I'm just going like, to straighten it out a bit. Not too much, but yeah, I'll show you guys there too. Holy crap, I'm just going to snap it. Woo! So there we go, I got one tent peg. Peg. Okay, and then I'll figure out how I want this, so I want that to be straight, so see, that is about straight, and now that is going to be bent, but now I just need to finish straightening that. Okay, so, I naturally bend that, and, boom, now we got ourselves a little tent peg, and see, that's where the actual bend ended, but I strained that, and then I just bent it somewhat in the middle. That was easy. Okay, so that, hold on. So that's pretty much all you have to do to make some tent pegs, and I'm gonna keep making some more off camera, and then I'll come back to you guys when I'm done. So I'll be right back. Okay, so my brother did two, but with a tent, to, you know, not tent, but with a, uh, uh, with one coat hanger, I made about, about uh, well, actually, I made exactly one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 
about seven tent pegs. You could probably make one out of this too. I'm just not going to because it's all like jagged over here. And I don't have the patience to straighten it out. So yeah, good luck on your on making some pegs. They don't just have to be used for tent pegs, but that's what we're going to be used for. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Please leave a like and subscribe and bye. Love you all.